so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Soda pit, but we're happy to be here tonight. Leon Edwards approached him, and he got a meal that he was not expecting. Ah. Let me tell you something, man. When you're in the arena, when you're in the O2 arena, you better be ready to fight backstage or inside the octagon. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single call time. Too easy for the Nurmagomedov gets the early takedown. Opposition knew it was coming, unable to stop it as usual. Well, he'll tell you. He'll tell you that he's gonna take you down. And he has so many ways of getting to that takedown. He's as good as they come in terms of setting him up, and right away he gets to fight exactly where he needs it to be. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nurmagomedov. Now going upstairs with the left hook. So Khabib choosing to strike here tonight, DC. We saw in the Conor McGregor fight, he was more than willing to try to land power shots on the feet. And that's what we have seen here in this one tonight. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Getting the ball here. Right now, it looks like he's gonna chase an arm triangle. What he needs to do next is push the left arm across and try and secure it with his head. How good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. And there's that jab. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Nice body kick there. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle. That oh, flying knee up top. Able to block that one. Nurmago Medov going for the takedown, but unable to land. Nice combination there. He gets in single collar time. Look for him to now start to find up. Oh, he's going to get team. Oh, he's out. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping him in the full guard. Well, he's got his back now. Now the hammer fist here by Nurmago Medov. Nice positional control here. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. So once again, Khabib Nurmagomedov dominating the opposition here tonight. Tremendous. Oh, Kimura attack. Yup. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. you got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think... Holy smokes! How good was that judo toss? Big ground and pound. Nurmago Medov's in half guard now. Under a minute now to go in this one. Good fight 
staying offensive off of his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Oh, nice. Ten seconds now in round one. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's gonna stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. You ready to fight? Ready. Go Second on. round on the way. All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this round. Previous round, it was all him just taking his opponent down, really every time he entered. Yeah, every time he got in on the leg, he was able to secure a finish. And that is the idea you want as a wrestler going into a fight. If you have to change up the technique, it's fine. It's not always gonna be the very first attack. When it's the first attack, you're very happy. But most times, you gotta chain things together if you wanna take down a great fighter. And we know how hard it is to maintain the wrestling, right? The hours required in the gym to make sure that wrestling's still at a high level, he's putting in the time. Yes, he's putting in the time. And also, you see it in his movements. When he gets to an attack, he's constantly shifting positions. He's constantly moving his opponent. He's constantly trying to give him too much information to process. Right. And that comes from a lifetime of wrestling. If he just started this, it would be very difficult to trick his opponent. But now, by giving him so many different looks, he's been able to secure takedown after takedown after takedown. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. All right, so there it is, yet another strike to the body. Feels like that was what the game plan was rooted in coming in here tonight. Absolutely, John, and you can think that he's setting him up to go up top, or honestly, if he continues to land at this rate, at this target, he could finish him here. So I wouldn't change anything unless he makes it. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Knee on belly, big strikes, landing here. Marco Madoff's back to the side control now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. I need you to scramble, scramble. Attack an armbar. Oh, that looks tight to me. It's locked in. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Well, his grappling has been on point thus far, and don't think he's gonna slow down. He can keep up this pace through the whole fight. Especially when he's on top, in the top position, where he's controlling the exchanges, controlling the transitions. He can do it with his eyes closed. This is something he's been doing since he was a young man. Big power shots landing. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. I love it. I love all the grappling that was on display there. But fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get 
as he finally makes his way back to his feet. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Nermanko Medov's in half goal. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Lands a nice jab there. Back to the clinch. Really nice body kick land. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. Got it done with the strikes. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Big power shot there. Khabib's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh, man. I like the half guard. Mago Menon's got his hand looking for a guillotine choke. Oh, that guillotine choke is tough. Oh, he's out. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. All right, feet on the hips here. So the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and gotta be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Oh, gorgeous switch kick by him there. Clearly, he has practiced that move and was able to execute on fight. He can do that. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Nermago Medov's going for a choke. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, looks tight to me. Let's work. Oh, he's trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Lands a switch knee. And now some knees. So the nice judo toss for him there. The Mago Manov's in half goal. Oh, right into Mount. This is a terrible position. Constantly a moving target. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, 
just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter very from the walk. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Are right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Nurmagomedov. And there you go, again, half guard. Nurmagomedov's right back to the full mount. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Dude's trying to finish the fight. Arm is very tight. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that job. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. So another takedown here by Nurmago Meta. Big shots. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Nice kick. These guys are going at him. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Oh, you got to like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Nice one-two there. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Going for a submission now, or so it appears. He's looking to finish, John. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, you're wearing by submission. That was nasty. Well, everybody in this arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 54 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nirvana Meta. All right, so a lot of fighters have suffered from a similar fate against Khabib Nurmagomedov. You heard it there from Buff. He gets done by submission tonight. I mean, this is a 